Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. The voice you hear indeed represents the energy of the creative source. That is God to some, spirit to others, whatever you want to call it. We have discussed what the creative source is and what it is not. A benevolent source that knows you. Unbelievable to some that the human being individually would be known by the one or many, the soup, the creation that was responsible for setting the universe in motion. And the reason for this personal touch, you might say, is because in you is part of the creator. We've told you this before. The system is complete because you are part of God. It's important, especially in this new energy, that you really cognize this and feel this. We go back again to the ancients to see what they would say. For instance, what is the first organized spiritual system on the planet thousands of years ago? What was their first intuition about who humanity was? And the answer is God inside. There are still cultures, many of them, millions of individuals on the planet who would greet you with a namaste, the, the, the acknowledgement of my God inside me greets the God in you. God inside is not a foreign concept. Do you realize the connection that is possible here? Dear ones, with the DNA working at the degree it is, the shallowness of all of it, as you progress and as you have an elegance of the divine evolvement which is at hand, the first thing that's going to happen is that connection is going to get better. And the God inside becomes the God outside and inside. But for now, I want you to really, really cognize that you've come into this planet with the creator inside you. This is reasonable and logical for the test of the planet, for the souls that have to come here and work the issue. There has got to be creation in each of you. If that's the case, I'm going to ask the big question of the evening. When you sit to meditate, when you sit to pray, when you worship, why do you lift your hands and pray to somebody other than the God inside? Humanity is going to have to start understanding in this new energy the way to the future is not an externalness, it's an internalness. Look at what has happened and what it's become. The God inside from the ancients has become the God outside. You didn't just remove God from your bodies in this society. You made it so humans were useless and worthless and born dirty and had to, to grovel and crawl even to, to be noticed by this creator. It's a disservice. It's a dysfunction to the entire body. When God is inside, the evolution of the human spirit will have a great catalyst and that will be the belief of starting to activate 
the internal compass. Your consciousness to this point has always had a lack of self-worth. God inside is a beautiful concept and it didn't stick. And now we start asking you to create something that is going to be understood by you but not practiced by you. A concept that says you leave divine because you were born magnificent. And you were. The first breath you took, the soul that entered your body, all of the planning that gets you here creates a magnificence, a beauty that is seen by spirit and God as beautiful and yet you don't. And now it is time to start reevaluating what's in there. The internal compass is more than just intuition. It is God inside of every single human being asking to be activated. You still are guilty, are you not, of a bias or even when you meditate, you're looking at an external source. Dear Spirit, I want this. Help me with this. Dear Spirit, I love you. What if you internalized it and called it what it is? In an older energy, we taught you that the best question you could ever ask of God is tell me what I need to know and now we're saying the question is the same but now you're going to start asking God inside internalization of this issue means that when you sit to meditate you honor your body first because that is where God is in every single piece of DNA Hundreds of trillions of pieces. God's in all of them. There is a piece of you which is quantum. A very small part of the DNA molecule has been proven to have a quantum attribute. That is just part of what we speak of. There's more than you think in there. If God is inside, you ought to be able to sit down and meditate and start pulling forward that which you need as your internal compass because you are calling on the source which has always been there. Not the source that sits in the sky. The source that's inside. And to make it easier for you, you might reframe the way you speak or think. And you might start with, dear spirit inside. <laughs> tell me what it is I need to know activate my internal compass so that I will be able to sense the direction and not worry dear spirit inside quench the fear that I have about anything dear spirit inside show me the peace that passes all understanding because I'm worried. Dear spirit inside, I'm afraid. Activate that which I know is inside me so that every single cell can feel what I know is there. I am eternal. Give me the peace, the quietness, and do it now. Has it ever occurred to you that your consciousness can speak to the creator inside your body. Look at this pathway that you've all but ignored as you search other places. We've said it before, in the scenario of today, somehow you have got to the place where you've eliminated Gaia, you've made God dysfunctional, it's a God who loves you so much you're going to burn in hell if you say the wrong thing. That's not God. Would you do it to your kids? 
That's not God. Inside you is the whole engine. It's all there. And it's time for you now to take it, kickstart it, and see it. Is it possible that every single cell of your body knows what I'm talking about? We've spoken about the field. We've given you two major channels on the benevolence of the field. Some have called it entrainment. There is a field of physics that wants harmony, that puts things together in a synchronous fashion. We've even called it physics with an attitude because it's not, it's, it's not fair. It's not neutral. It's benevolent. And in this new energy, you're going to see this manifest itself every single time you ask it to. This is the wind at your back, finally. This is the help you ask for, finally. And it comes not from the sky, but absolute normal physics. It can be measured. There's a reality in your court that wants to help you activate the internal compass. You wake up at 3, 3.30. I know who's here. And some of you wonder, what will I worry about now? <laughs> because that's the pattern, isn't it? Years and years and years. You assemble the worries and the fears. You make a laundry list and then you present them to God. How linear of you. What if you woke up at three and said, thank you, spirit, internally for waking me up? Dear God inside, show me why I'm awake. Oh, I see. So you could hold my hand and tell me you love me. So I could go back to sleep and be more peaceful than I ever was. Thank you, God inside. There is no thing, no thing too great for the God inside. No matter what you're feeling, no matter what anxiousness you have, no matter what is there that you think may be even permanent, no matter what you're going through, there is a bridge to the God inside that will wipe it away and the peaceful river of love will flow through you like it never has before. People will see it in you. People experiencing some of the things, things you have to experience will see it in you because you've mastered it. You discovered where God is. And the irony of it, you've just returned to the past. The ancients knew it all along. And now you're just reawakening some of the most profound knowledge of humanity. It hasn't even been hidden. It's just that you had to get to the place where you wanted to see it, to awaken it. Part of the spiritual awakening in this new energy is awareness of things that are there that you didn't see before. Of you accepting concepts that you never considered before of having the thought that perhaps they belong to you instead of to a guru or, or the channeler. That indeed all of the equipment for everything we're talking about is already in place. And it's been sleeping a long time. Sleeping. The whole idea of awakening something that's been asleep is no more just a metaphor. It is reality. But that's the way it feels. You walk out of the room with a new awareness, but perhaps a new paradigm. Stop looking outside yourself for answers. Because they've always been in you. Meditate the same as you always have meditated. But what you're now doing is balancing internally 
that which will manifest externally in your actions, in your consciousness, in how you treat others, in how you greet the God inside of anyone who comes in your path. We have spoken over and over about compassionate action. We've talked about a change of consciousness that makes your actions different. We said this leads to healthy things. It leads to longer life. This is the evolvement of the new human being. But this is a major hurdle. Listen to the way you meditate and pray. Add the word inside every time you mention spirit, every time you mention God. Dear God inside, dear spirit inside. And your body is going to get used to this. It's going to own it. It's going to start understanding you have cognized the divine creator inside yourselves. It's step one to so many things that you have that you didn't think you could do. Now I know who's in the room. I know who's listening. What have you got right now that is so sorrowful or that creates worry and fear? What is it about humanity that lets you project the worst into something worse? <laughs> and so whatever it is that you fear, then you create a bigger monster. This is the old energy paradigm that will completely and totally be wiped away by dear God inside. Darkness cannot exist when love rules. Hatred cannot be there when joy rules. Sorrow cannot exist when laughter is the king. And this is the teaching of the day, of the year, of the century. You turn the corner, dear God inside, and you join the ancients who knew it from the beginning, for it was intuitive. And then when you have time, and when you want to, I want you to walk outside to where the trees are and the dirt, not the cement, where your feet can touch the dirt. And you can say something that Gaia has wanted to hear for centuries. I want you to say, my God inside says, welcome home. You're going to start collecting energy from the source of Gaia itself because that is your partner here. You cannot survive without it. We're in a place where there's many farmers. You ask them, they know. Farmers have a tendency to go barefoot when no others would. <laughs> and you'd say, why would you do that? And they would say, because I want the dirt between my toes. Because I can feel that which is the energy of the dirt of the divine. And it soothes my soul. It's the step after God inside. <laughs> No matter where you live, you can do this. You can go where it exists and do this. And I'll tell you, you're going to receive a revelation of energy when you start including Gaia yet again. But dear ones, first is God inside. The externalization of where and how God works converted to the internalization of the reality of how God works is the key. Did you know that when you start that, your biology starts to shift? Did you know that your chemistry will start to shift? Did you know that the benevolence of the field 
will have a greater impact upon your health because suddenly you are allied with things that you never were before. If God is external, how are you ever going to internalize your health? If God is external, how are you ever going to have the peace inside? If God is external, what's it all about? Why do you exist? The logic of this should be clear because there is no external. You are God. And collectively, your consciousness will change the planet because you are God. There's more. We'll continue at another time. Dear ones, as you sit listening, all of you, I want you to know that this message is so so filled with, with a word that my partner can't conceive of because it doesn't exist. There's no word of how much the creator is part of you. There's a confluence of love that flows from the other side of the veil directly to you when you cognize and understand and internalize the creator. As long as we're outside of you, it just sits there. When you bring it in, when you bring it in, you're going to live longer. When you bring it in, it starts to be complete. I'm crying. I would not tell you these things if they were not so. The new human is beginning to arrive. And so it is.